guys, how are you? I'm good. I'm here to do an April favorites. So yeah, I didn't do a March. I don't know why I didn't do a March. I think I was just taking a little YouTube break. But April's favorite boxing will not be very long because I don't have that much to show you. So yay for that. I'm going to start off with this Bryn Pia Rosemary Mint Cleansing Conditioner. Um, I got this at Walmart thinking that uh, because I have such a dry, itchy scalp and um, like head and shoulders and other dandruff shampoos were not working, I figured if I did like a cleanse um, and started over maybe, like it would help my scalp. Um, it does make my hair look really nice and I do love it as far as just like the product itself goes. So that's why it's in my favorites, um, but it does not help with the dry and itchiness so I'm not really sure what's going on with my scalp but I had this problem last year but last year it like remedied itself you know by this time of the year so I'm not really sure why my scalp is so itchy but it is driving me crazy so um I do love this stuff I love it because it makes my hair shiny and it's just really nice and Honestly, you're not really supposed to use it with shampoo. You're supposed to use it like six times every one shampooing. But I just use it as a conditioner and it goes in my hair. And then I use my shampoo and I don't know. I just, I have been loving the way my hair looks lately. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is this Anderson Lily hand cream. It's in Manhattan Beach and I love this stuff. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it already. Uh, I am not using it as just a hand cream. Um, I just put it in like certain spots. It's kind of very fragranced in my opinion. So it has staying power. So I kind of use it almost like it's a perfume. Um, but it's not so heavily fragranced that it would make you sick or anything. It's just very clean and a little florally. It kind of reminds me... A little bit of pleasures from Estee Lauder um, but not exactly I just I love it so much it just smells so good um, but yeah so I've been wearing it like crazy the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this little pan of eyeshadow this is in the color frappe and I'm not sure you guys are getting the color the right way um, we got this in our March boxy chart. Was it, was it March? Yeah, I think it was March. And I just have been loving this color so much. It's just like a really pretty golden, like burnt peach color. Um, and I've just been wearing the heck out of that. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the Yes to Tomatoes products. Um, I got these while I was in Texas at Ulta. Um, and... You guys can see how much of this I have used. This is the cleanser, and it's just like a detoxifying charcoal cleanser. It really helped me with all of the acne that I was having. Um, this is the scrub. I haven't used as much of the scrub because I'm trying to scrub less. I kind of had an obsession with scrubs, and I don't know. Um, this one smells really tomatoey to me. So if you don't like the smell of tomatoes, you might not like the scrub. But if you have a acne problem, this line is just really awesome. This is the um, the mask, and I haven't been using as much of that either because I haven't been needing to because the cleanser, the cleanser and my moisturizer, which I forgot to bring in for the video, but the moisturizer and the cleanser smell really good. They smell sweet. And just really nice. The moisturizer kind of smells like cheesecake to me. So I'm almost out of that. Um, but the cleanser and the moisturizer together have been, I think, what helped my skin the most. So um, I definitely recommend these if you have oily skin and have an acne issue. Because I was just... Nah. I mean, I know that part of it was the dryness of the weather and, um, you know, just winter making my skin go crazy. And I also have a skin demon right now, but that is totally hormonal. So anyways, I digress. These are amazing. I love the Yes to Tomatoes products. So I will definitely continue to use these. So the next thing I want to show you guys is my new purse that I got from Walmart. 
and I just think that this thing is so cute. It's just adorable. You can hold it like this, or it has a longer strap that you can use, but I usually just carry it like that. And yeah, it fits my makeup case, and it fits a planner and a book, and, um, and it's got these like little side pockets in here, and inside there's an extra pocket zipper. I don't know if you can see because I'm not holding it very well, but... Um, but yeah, it's just a really cute purse, and I'm happy to say that you and know, I know it's not high-end, um, it doesn't matter, it's still adorable, I still treat it like it's high-end, and it was only $5, because I got it on clearance, so, I'm amazing, I know. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you guys is the, this book here, <laughs> um, this is the Thyroid Diet Revolution, this is by Mary Showman. Um, and I am almost all the way through the book, not quite, just a little over halfway actually. And she also has this book, this is called Living Well with Hypothyroidism. Um, and when I decided to start doing this detox on sugar, and um, which was mostly for my teeth initially, um, I also then decided that I should just go ahead and start being healthier and start on my weight loss journey again. Um, and so I wanted to research it a, a little bit more and just get a little deeper with it. And I decided to read these books because um, I was born without a thyroid gland, which I will tell you guys a little bit about in another video I'm going to make. Um, so... Yeah, I've been getting really heavily into these books, and they were books that my mom sent me a couple years ago, and I just haven't read them yet because I'm lame like that. Um, but they are making such an impact on me that uh, I just couldn't help but to put them in my favorites video for this month. So yeah. Um, I know that there's not a whole lot of interesting things maybe really to share with you guys as far as my favorites go for this month, but I have been super focused on the weight loss thing and the, the thyroid diet stuff and, um, I haven't really been wearing a whole lot of makeup because I don't do much, you know, it's like I either am at the gym working out now or working out at home or I'm reading this book or I'm at work, so I don't really um, wear a whole lot of makeup anymore, so that's why there's not a ton of like makeup products to show you guys, uh, so maybe I can remedy that next month, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys, and I hope that you ladies liked this video. If you have any questions below, please feel free to comment. Uh, I love you guys so much. Here's to wishing you a bit of love. I will see you in my next video. Mwah! This is a very small... <laughs> but this will be not a very long video, because... So I'm going to start off with this friend here. Um, this is a rose, it's, it's just a nice, it's just a nice shade. Um, 